Aquarius, how's it going? Welcome to your weekly love reading. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, let's see what's up with you guys. Thank you guys for being here. You guys are amazing. Ace of Swords. Six of Swords. Seven of Pentacles. Five of Wands. Knight of Wands. Nine of Cups. All right, guys. So you are coming in this week in this Ace of Swords energy. This is actually yours. Everything else here uh, can be for you or the person you're dealing with. But with you coming in with the Ace of Swords, it's you have a new beginning here. Um, it's like you came to some kind of realization about something. You might have got some kind of um, new communication. And if you, if you did, if that's it, if something came in for you and made you realize something, you can trust that it's honest. Um, it, this is all about truth and clarity and communication and, and having a breakthrough. It's like, it's like an epiphany, you know, like you just realize something about <clears throat> a situation that you were in, or you've got some kind of a new beginning here, something brand new for you. Queen of Wands reversed. You could have realized that somebody is just um, not for you. <laughs> I don't want to be mean, but this is like a mean person. This is like somebody who's really arrogant, really egotistical, um, spoiled brat, entitled, jealous, like not a cool person. And I think that you just like came to this realization about them. Could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It doesn't have to be. Could also just be you coming to a realization that you're just not feeling something anymore. Like, you know, like the passion might be gone. The attraction might be gone with you and another person. Yeah, and the Eight of Cups. So you're walking away. You're walking away either because of the attraction's gone or this person is like, <coughs> Like I said, not a good person, <laughs> like a shit show, like um, potentially narcissistic. And I don't mean like narcissistic personality disorder, but, you know, narcissistic tendencies, um, very egotistical, very demanding. All right. Recent past, you have the six of swords. So more of the walking away. There's definitely something that you're leaving behind because it just like hit you one day. <coughs> You know, like I said, it just hit you. You just had this like revelation like, ew, ew, I have to go. This isn't what I want. Um, in the present, you have the seven of pentacles. So this is investing in something here. Could just be yourself right now, but let's see. Why is the seven of pentacles here for Aquarius? The two of swords reverse. So that's a difficult decision. the magician um all right let's see what it is that you're manifesting it's definitely coming out of denial like you're definitely coming out of denial about a situation or a person temperance sagittarius you could be manifesting a sagittarius um Either way, this is divine intervention, it's alchemy, it's harmony, it's you bringing yourself back into balance, you only dealing with a connection that is in harmony with you, right? Even if it's Sagittarius or not, manifesting a connection that is going to be a good match for you, a good balance for you, you guys are going to mix well together. Your potential obstacle is the Knight of Wands. So this is Younger Fire, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius can be the same queen of wands reverse person up here but this is like as an obstacle again it's like there's no action being taken like the motivation the attraction's gone or this is somebody who's not consistent they're just there for fun and hookups and whatever strength maybe it's a leo you're only missing aries here as far as major sun signs or major um major fire signs 
anyway, um, it's the need to have the courage to leave something behind that is, it's just not consistent. It's not, how do I want to say it? It's like not, it's the energy of a person not, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. It's hard for me to say because it's like sex energy. Um, this person is like, they don't value you. They don't look at you as you're worth anything other than having fun, having sex, whatever. Um, and it's just the need to have the, the strength, the courage to just like walk away from that shit. And you are, you will, if you haven't yet. Um, now in the immediate future, you have the five of wands. So some drama, some disagreements here, some competition, some jealousy. You already have that jealous person you're dealing with anyway. I, I mean, it is what it is, you know, obviously if you leave somebody or just cut them off or whatever, they're going to be pissed, especially this fucking spoiled brat. Eight of Pentacles reverse. So watch out for repeated arguments. So watch out for having an argument that like always happens because it's not ever going to change. It's just going to be the same thing over and over and over. It's not going to get any better. So it's best just to not engage at all because it's, it's honestly not going to go anywhere. It's not going to get resolved. And the Ace of Wands reverse. Yeah, there's definitely something here with somebody being like... Um, definitely like a user as far as sex and um it kind of like it's like a turn off to you I mean I I guess for a lot of people it would be but um it's like once you realize how they are once you have this realization once it becomes clear to you then you're not even attracted to them at all do you know what I mean all right, your advice is the Nine of Cups. This is about being content within yourself. This is, it's wish fulfillment, it's happiness, it's all that, but it's about filling your own cup so that when you meet another person, your shit's already full. You don't have to worry about um, wanting someone to fill a void because you've done that yourself. It's also about understanding that there is somebody out there that's better for you, somebody who is actually gonna feel like what you wished for um and it's pretty cool here because you have the eight of cups in your own energy of the nine of cups as your advice so you are walking away to find your happiness to find your contentment so just keep that in mind don't lose sight of what it is that you feel would actually make you happy the page of cups so this is new communication if there's somebody that you're interested in and kind of contemplating reaching reaching out to them this would be a yes go ahead express your feelings um this can be someone coming in with some kind of emotional expression towards you it can be an apology but if it's this person mm, it, it's kind of whatever yeah they can apologize but i don't think that they're gonna like be any different and the Ten of Wands, it's dropping things that are not yours to carry, um, making sure that whatever connections you're in, you're not the one pulling all the weight. Make sure you're practicing healthy boundaries and anything that feels like it's just sucking the life out of you, let some of that go. All right, um, let's get you your Romance Oracles and then we will get your energy with the different signs. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Yeah, that makes sense with that page of cups. Again, if there's somebody you're into, just reach out. Children, your love life is being affected by children. Interesting. So you don't have to deal with anybody's shit just because you have kids with them. Really. All right, let's get your um, energy with the different signs. Who do we have here for majors? Sagittarius, Leo, is that it? Yeah. Sagittarius and Leo so far. 
All right, Aquarius and Aries. Ooh, the tower, that's likely done. Um, it wasn't stable or it's going through like a major change. <clears throat> Aquarius and Taurus, two of wands reverse. Somebody feels like they made a bad decision in that, that likes, if you were dealing with somebody and they kind of like went in the other direction, they feel like that was the wrong decision for them. Um, Aquarius and Gemini, seven of swords reversed. You could have a Gemini that you're catching doing something fucked up, or you have one that's confessing something to you. Aquarius and Cancer, <clears throat> Six of Cups. That is a connection where it would be very balanced. You guys would both be putting forth the same amount of effort, time, energy, all that. And they might be somebody who's really generous, like likes to gift you with things. Aquarius and Leo, Seven of Wands. They're very guarded. They have their walls up. Aquarius and Virgo, Ten of Wands, that might be this person here. You got the Ten of Wands in this reading. Um, but if you're dealing with a Virgo, that's likely done or needs to be. It's just too draining, exhausting. Somebody's doing all the work there. Aquarius and Libra, Two of Swords, that's stuck. Somebody's being really indecisive there, having a real difficult time choosing between um, their head and their heart. <clears throat> Aquarius and Scorpio. The Four of Swords. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, you're likely not talking to them right now because they're going through some kind of a healing period, um, whatever that is, physical, emotional, but they're definitely like retreating right now, taking care of themselves. Aquarius and Sagittarius, Seven of Pentacles. That is worth investing in. That is a connection that could grow if you would like it to. Aquarius dealing with Capricorn. King of Wands, a lot of attraction there. So this is one where they look at you like you're just hot as shit and you look at them that way. Um, a lot of chemistry. Aquarius and Aquarius, Five of Wands, lots of drama. You guys don't get along very well. Could be some jealousy. Aquarius and Pisces, Nine of Pentacles reversed. They're pretty codependent, so I wouldn't deal with that. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here.